And hey, welcome back everybody to the Birdies and Bourbon YouTube channel. Thank you so much for all the likes you've been giving us. Thanks for the support and the follows. Hey, go down below, down below, click subscribe, click follow. We appreciate your support, bringing you new content every week, multiple times. Dan? Absolutely. And send us some comments, guys. Cal and I, we really do want to hear the feedback. What do you like and what do you want to hear more of? We're here to bring you all everything bourbon, PGA, etc. We want to hear what you want to hear about. We'll do the research. We'll bring you the videos and we'll, uh, we'll make it entertaining, as, as entertaining as we can. But yeah, we're here today to talk about COVID and the PGA Tour. Cal, what you got? Uh, well, actually, I've got Sazerac Rye coming out of... <laughs> oh, 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 sorry. You, you meant about COVID. Hey, uh, COVID strikes again, man. Uh, so, you know, it's good. I, I think we're going to see some interesting stuff come out of this. So uh, Fratelli was just uh, he was the first one that released this week, uh, tested positive for COVID. And uh, I'll tell you what, uh, he didn't make the cut, which is mm -hmm. probably uh, in everybody's favor that he didn't make the cut. Right. So less uh, le less exposure there. Uh, he did play with uh, Poston and Poulter on Thursday and Friday. Hmm. So, you know, I, I can only imagine that those guys are just getting the hell tested out of them right now. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I mean, who knows with all the, the false positives that are coming out. I mean, it's, uh, I don't know if you saw that Cameron champ, but, uh, he tested positive and I think he's had two or three more tests since then. And they've all come back negative. That's strange. So, huh? Yeah. So bad news for, uh, for telly hate to hear that, uh, even could potentially even worse news, uh, you know, with Poston and Poulter. Uh, and I think they're both teed up to play um, play the Rocket Mortgage this week. So obviously, Fratelli won't be there. He'll be uh, quarantining, getting over this. But uh, be be uh, be on the lookout for those two when you make your lineups this week. When I was hitting, I was looking at uh, Harris English to be in my lineup uh, this week, and and he had to pull out because of this or whatnot. And I mean, great player and uh, having a great year. I hope you hope everything goes well for him and getting better on this or whatnot. Um, well, so think think about this though. So Harris English, so he set out. Uh, for the um, uh, at TPC River Highlands, he didn't play. Right. So, so once again, uh, you know, is that another uh, feather in the hat for the PGA Tour and the PGA bubble? Yeah. Uh, he, you know, he plays uh, he plays a Schwab, he plays RBC, he misses uh, TPC Highlands River Highlands, and he comes back to play in Detroit, and he tests positive. So th there you go. Yeah, there's something about that bubble, man. Stay in the bubble, guys. And if you're not in the bubble, please, please be extra careful out there. You hear the, you heard JT talking about Hilton Head and what he was seeing out there. And obviously, we're not seeing a decline in these. Please, guys, we want golf to continue. I don't think fans are coming back this year, Cal. Do you? No, I have no way, man. Keep keep them away. I mean, they're going to have a hard enough time containing uh, the players alone, especially. Uh, when you got situations like this, right? So you've got you got Harris that's set out for a week, and you know he's kind of where you know wherever he goes. I don't know where he lives. Probably a Florida guy where Phil yeah. doesn't want to be. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but but uh, so so now you're, you you know, you bring it back in. So you know you got like Webb Simpson that set out. Uh, he skipped the tournament last week because somebody in his family had tested positive. So Webb's right. back, and and as of now, uh, you know he's listed as play. But, mm -hmm. you know, wh where does that wind up at? Right. I mean, because I'm sure they're testing these guys every day. And, um, you know, I, I don't know what that means. So we got four positive yeah. uh, tests now. And those are players. Now, what we're not hearing about is any of the support staff. Right. So we're not getting any of that news. So if you've got four players out of what, give or take about 160 players every week, you know, time plus their. Well, those are only players. Think about we had two or three caddies. Uh, that tested positive last week, and we had so Graham McDowell and Brooks Kepka uh, yep. set out. We haven't heard any news on them. Chase Kepka, Ricky Elliott, uh, yeah, Ricky, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So we haven't heard any news on those guys that you know where the, clearly there was exposure. Um, so you know what what's that mean for the you know the in the nucleus of this thing? You know what, what does that look like going going down the road? I guess maybe the positive thing is if enough people get it, uh, then they'll they'll have cycled out. <laughs> and, uh, you know, you, I mean, right. I mean, it's kind of musical chairs, man. I mean, people are going out and people are coming in. I mean, I, I, I don't know. It's, it's going to be interesting to see how it plays out. You've been watching the, uh, the golf on the TV, right? Oh yeah. 
Yeah. What do you think about it? I have not seen, and we can cut this later if you want to, but I haven't seen a ton of security. Do you think the security is good out there? Because I see a lot of fans along the fence lines. And I haven't I would seen have... any security, and, yeah. and I think it's kind of weird where they're saying no fans, but obviously, obviously those are, are individuals that you know own the houses. I don't know. They could be renting the houses just to yeah. go and camp out and watch them. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm surprised that they're not a little more strict in that. Yeah. You, know, you got people clapping and people do, you know, so I, I think that that's encouraging maybe uh, a potentially uh, a negative behavior of other yeah. people. Yeah. Well, you saw yesterday uh, at Travelers when they had the rain delay, somebody stole the uh, the T markers. <laughs> I know, exactly. they did. I'm like, what in the yeah. world? Where is the security? Yeah. No, I, I, I don't know. So uh, once again, though, it's probably the PGA bubble, man. And people, you need to put uh, those back. Know, and people. But they, but, the, but they look so good on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Cal's in Atlanta, guys. He did not steal the Travelers team markers. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So please give it the get. I think the PGA is doing a great job with regards to the COVID and uh, the amount of players that have tested positive. It has not been a big breakout. They're doing great. Keep up the great work. It's been so entertaining to watch these guys play. The field this week, a little bit weaker, but hey, we got Memorial right around the corner. Um, but uh, hey, yeah, we'll get back to you guys. Anything else, Cal, before we wrap this up? I think we're all good, man. Thanks for your support, everybody. Click subscribe. Cheers. Cheers.